it's fine. Oh my gosh, all the shedding. <laughs> style my hair using my scrunchie brush my brand new scrunchie brush there was another edition but i've been getting a lot of questions on like my instagram and my facebook group on how specifically i use the brush since it is a new model and everything so i figured why not just show you from start to finish i've already clarified my hair for today i did a pre-poo to have a little extra moisture so i'm just going to show you using a cream and a gel how i style my hair using the brush. I did use my scrunchie shower cap to make sure my hair was not dripping all over my shoulders. So I'm just gonna take this off. Ooh, so like I said, I haven't done anything other than pre-poo, clarify, and deep condition. Okay, this is how my hair looks coming out of the shower. Now, I know most of you are normally used to seeing me section my hair and everything like that. And normally I do, but today is a pretty chill day. I'm not really looking for too much definition to anything extravagant. I'm staying home today. And I just wanted to show you how I get the little pristine curls that I get in the front using the brush. I'm just going to take a little bit of more water just because I do like to put my products on soaking wet hair and the scrunchie shower cap really does soak up a lot of the moisture so it's not dripping all right so i'm gonna go in with my pump hair care curly girl two in one define and repair cream i really like um this cream one because it smells like bubble gum right and it's really moisturizing i use this as my leave-in and i just rake it through really carefully see most of the work when i'm styling is done with my actual hands you're even going to see with my finger coils i know the scrunchie brush is designed to finger coil as well i'm not gonna lie to you i'm just very picky um i like to do my finger coils by hand <laughs> otherwise i'm just staring at little areas that i'm like no that wouldn't have come out with my fingers you know so really raking the cream into my hair is my first step against uh frizz so as you can see it's starting to um get a little bit defined starting to get into those clumps the more that i really rake it through because i don't want to leave any parts of my hair dry because remember, your gel is not going to help you with dry hair. This is why when you are putting your leave-in or your cream, this is why styling and finding the right technique is so important. See, so I can feel on this side how dry it is as compared to the side that I put the cream on. Like I said, super, super moisturizing. Heavenly scent. I have really fine density hair, so this is one of those one of the few creams that I can actually put in my hair and not worry about it weighing down my hair. And you see also how much product you put is really, really, really important. I don't go with huge blobs because remember, you can always apply more product, but you can't take product out once it's already there. You're just gonna have to take the L and just cover up your hair, put it up that day and just restart again tomorrow. So. So you can always put more you can't take out so i'm just going to continue around all of my head just raking because once i put my scrunchie brush through my hair once i pass it through my hair i want all that moisture to really um spread around the brush helps me a lot with that so the back part of my hair is the driest that's why i'm really really taking the moment to focus in on that As you can see, I gently pull the hair out to really feel the strands and see which ones still need a little bit more care, a little bit more moisture. Oh, look at that little curl. That's just from the cream, boy. 
Okay. Now that my hair is properly saturated with the leave-in, I'm gonna go in with the gel. gel smells heavenly and it offers me that um hard hold that i'm looking for that firm hold um since i have really uh fine curly hair i get a lot of uh flyaways and stuff like that since my curls don't hold that well on their own so that's why i always use a firm hold or strong hold gel to really get that hold I'm looking for so that I could last more than one or two days without having to do much to my hair. Cause I'm not gonna lie to you, I'm pretty lazy on the norm. Um, <laughs> I like to keep it really simple. That's why I use steam most of the time. That's why I use um, satin accessories like pillowcases and bonnets and stuff like that from NP, NP Trust Treats. It's one of my favorite places to get satin accessories. I'm just giving y'all like all these random products and stuff that I use, but it's just because I like to be, you know, really in depth and be as transparent as I can with you guys, just to show you nothing is magic. You know, it's, it's a lot of repetition, practice, and just exploring what works for you, you know, get that gel into the lower parts of my hair. Cause that's, what's going to need the hold. Remember, you don't need to apply any product to your roots. That's just going to weigh them down. All right. Now, if I wanted to, I could just scrunch right now and get definition. But I prefer to use my scrunchie brush. Now, like I said, this part of the brush right here, this is for twirling. So like when you're putting like the hair on and you're twirling for the finger coils, that's what that part is for. I actually use this part to section. And then I take it to pass it through. See that? Look at those beautiful ribbon curls. And you see, I'm not doing it harshly. I'm literally just letting the brush do all the work. And this also helps me to make sure my product is fully saturating my hair. That also helps me to prevent using more product and weighing down my hair. But as you can see, I barely even have to do anything. I can literally just scrunch right here and that's it. As compared to how my hair naturally comes out with just raking, look at that. Just raking product through, no scrunching. Scrunch it brush, couple passes. You see how crazy that difference is? Look at that, look at that. Stop that! Are you joking? Look at that perfection. Look at that perfection! So we're just gonna do that to this side. This is actually the side of my head that does not curl as well as the other side. That's why I really just take my time with the brush. Look at that, barely any scrunching. I'm literally just gently lifting. And look, the curl definition is already starting. Amazing. So since I like volume, I'm not gonna leave it plucked on my head like that, okay? Cause you're probably looking at me like, this girl is crazy, she got all that hair. <laughs> no, so look, it even takes out excess product. How amazing is that? So I'm just gonna take this section right here and show you what I normally do to the curls that frame my face. So I'm gonna take the brush one more time, pass it through again, gently. These are the curls that frame my face. Okay, look at that. <laughs> I cannot, all right, so 
I take these curls right here. And like I said, I like to finger coil myself. It's very gentle. The brush does it as well. You can see a lot of different tutorials on how to use the brush to actually finger coil. But I just, like I said, I prefer to do it my way like this. Just so that I have smaller sections, you know. That way my hair is not clumping all together. Beautiful. Now we're gonna do it this side. I told you I'm a perfectionist. I don't like any of those little hairs sticking out. So now that these are done, these are the ones that frame my face, I am actually going to just brush out and scrunch the last, the back part of my hair to show you the definition that comes solely from the brush, okay? So look at that. Couple swipes and look at that ringlet. So the last step of my hair day, as you can see, besides excessive scrunching, <laughs> is to scrunch out any excess product with 
a towel of your choice, not a regular towel, a microfiber towel. Um, I love tea towels, even regular everyday bounty paper towels are really good. Now, since microfiber towels can be a bit drying, I'm only gonna scrunch a few times and just leave it. Just want to help expedite my drying time by scrunching out excess product. All right. I'm going to leave my hair just like this and we will see what the final results of styling with my scruncher brush looks like once it is finally dry. All right, guys, so my hair is finally dry. I diffused it dry just for extra volume. But look at those finger coils, how they came out. No frizz, massive volume in the back because look at that. Yo, look at that. This was just from the brush versus this finger coiling. Stop it. Stop it! It looks phenomenal. Yes! Look at these curls! I can't even take them right now. It's my hair and I can't take it. Yes! See, now, now, now do you believe me? Now do you understand why I am on social media constantly like, yo, yo, scrunch it brush. Like, I, oh my God, this is my baby, okay? effortless results in less than an hour with drying time and everything like seriously this is the alpha and omega of hair care styling you need you need the scrunch brush in your life okay and now that you guys have finally seen how i achieve my curls with this brush maybe you'll stop asking me about it no i'm just playing with you <laughs> definitely keep asking me about the scrunch brush but you see how easy this was less than an hour i'm not going anywhere but if i had to i'd be ready <laughs> I hope this tutorial was easy for you guys to follow. Please, please, please check out the scrunch it brush. Make sure to use our discount code red carpet curls and have the curls of your dreams. <laughs> I'll see you guys soon. Bye.